<clears throat> hey what up youtube it's your girl Corey bella and i'm back y'all i'm trying to push these videos out since i haven't been um doing any a lot of videos lately but anyway it's gonna be a tag video i'm doing like tag galore um this is a tag that was tagged this is a video that i saw done by my cuz here on the yt hey tan girl um it's called the big girl tag and for y'all who watch me know that i'm a thicky thick girl so with that being said if you're interested in seeing what i think about being a plus size girl stay tuned Okay, y'all, so it's about, I think it's only seven questions, um, and I'm tagging anybody who's plus ass who want to do it. If you're watching, you don't know me, I don't care, you just want to do the video, do it. So any plus ass girls who got an opinion about being plus ass or a big girl or thick girl or whatever, do it. Um, so yeah, first question is, what do you classify yourself as? Example, curvy, fat, thick, plus ass, heavy, ample, whatever. Um, I definitely say that I'm a thick girl. Um... I feel like I'm a plus size. I say I'm like a plus size medium girl because I don't feel like I necessarily fit into some plus size girls view of what it means to be plus size. But then again, I'm nowhere near thin. Can't fit a size two. I ain't been a single digits in how many years. So I'm definitely a thick plus size girl. If that makes any sense, okay? I don't usually call myself, I call myself, I'm like, oh, don't fat, blah, blah, blah. But I would never tell anybody else that. I think that what you say to other people, that's how they view you. And I ain't, I ain't about that. I'm about the positivity. So, plus size, thick, thicky, thick, girl. But hell, if you're fat, you're fat. What can you say, right? Anyway, <laughs> what is your body shape? I guess they mean like pear, apple, all that stuff. Um, Whatever fruit that's big at the bottom, I mean, big at the top, medium in the bottom. I mean, <laughs> whatever, whatever fruit is big at the top kind of big medium in the middle and medium small at the bottom so i don't know what um i don't know what fruit that is but that's what i would be uh it ain't a pear because i ain't got no rump like that i'm heavy i'm top heavy so apple whatever the hell that is i ain't no fruit that even got my shape i'm just like I'm like <laughs> one 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 kind of like that so yeah a little bit oddly shaped but i still got a little bit of everything i think a little bit of booty a lot of bit of top parts yeah um are you comfortable happy at your current size and what is your positive as a plus size person must give okay um am i com comfortable happy at my current size i would not say that i'm comfortable nor happy at my my size I guess I'm a little bit more comfortable than I am happy. Um, I'm comfortable because this is the size I've been for quite a while now, so I'm kind of used to being this size. I know kind of how to dress for my size, but I'm not happy with it. I kind of look in the mirror and I'm like, uh, you can use some work, boo. You definitely can use some work. So there's stuff that I'm trying to work on with health being incorporated as well, not just diets and stuff like that, but just health in general. So I know, I guess I'm, I'm not extremely happy with what I am but I do work with what I got and I am happy I can put some clothes on I can make myself look good so I am happy in that to that degree but overall no um what is my positive as a plus size person um I think that was positive I just feel like as a person period with confidence I think that's just a part a positive period um but I guess I have to answer this right so let me think uh positive plus ass oh i don't know we keep we be we be keeping people warm in the winter i don't know <laughs> like what the hell i don't know uh i kind of like the plus ass community kind of how kind of how they stick together it's always drama in every community but i do love how plus ass divas be repping it i hate the word diva by the way but um i hate I love how the plus size women on the YT in general in life, they represent. There are some really beautiful big girls who can dress their butt off and they make sure they're presentable and they look nice regardless of their size. So I do kind of like, I guess, the, the plus size community. I like kind of the, I like the way they come together. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I like the community of the community, if that makes any sense, whatever. Um, number four, would you like to lose weight? If so, how much? What is your negative as a plus size person? Um, I would like to lose weight. I really don't want a, to put a pound on it because I am more about what I see visually. If I look in the mirror and I'm looking good and I'm like, plat cow, plat, plat, plat cow, and I'm still at 200 pounds, then that would be fine. I want to be healthy overall, seriously, I really do. So, um, 
I would say I wouldn't probably want to lose no more than 40 pounds because I'm probably gonna start looking really crazy and sick uh, that's what's gonna probably happen I really don't want to be a size 2 I really don't have a um, desire to be in the single digits I think 10 would be the lowest that I would go and I'm like a 14 now 14 kind of 15 16 ish sometimes so I definitely would not go under 10 I would prefer not to um, yeah, so I'm really just more concerned about how things look. If if everything's tidy and right, I'm all good. <laughs> um, let's see. What is your negative as a plus size person? For me, I don't know. I know everybody's sweating get hot, but I think the more fat, the more parts are leaning on other parts and all that, you be hot. I be hot. Like, I don't want my stomach hanging over because it's hot and it's sweated and you have to keep taking showers. And I know everybody has to take multiple showers in the summertime because that's just human nature. But I be hot. Too many that part's hanging like this part right here i don't know if you smaller girls have this problem but it sweats right here and i'm like why is it sweating and i think it's because i'm I got some big arms you know like what the hell <laughs> so i don't know but that pisses me off <laughs> what is a fat thing that you do and think it's funny example breathe heavy or sweat profusely um i'm gonna go and use that example i don't know uh if this is a fat thing i just think everybody sweat like no matter who you are i just think it depends on your genetic makeup maybe or something i don't know if everybody sweat like i sweat but man sometimes i just be like really really king out i'm sweating this bad for real so i would definitely have to say sweating maybe i don't know if i heavily breathe i think anybody if you running or you're doing something that you're not used to a smaller person if they not in shape they're gonna breathe heavy too so i don't think that's a fat thing um maybe sweating profusely or i just be on fat stuff when it comes to eating i just think that's like i said i think this stuff can apply to any size but man when it comes to food, sometimes me and my friends be on some strictly fat stuff like traveling. I mean, traveling and go get some of the food if I'm fiending it and just having a hankering for it. That's just a fat thing for anybody shaped up. Anyway, um, number six, what is your plus? No. And do and do you think it's funny? And think it's funny. I guess that's funny. The fact that I travel far to go get some food, that's funny to me. Whatever. <laughs> number six, what is your plus size pet peeve? Um... I think that kind of one apple spoils the bunch kind of when it comes to plus size. Like, some girls look so stank and so trifling. And I'm not going to say I've never had that experience before. Like, some stuff you think you'd be looking good in. But no, you need to go take a picture probably of yourself to see how you look in it to make sure that's for you. Because everything ain't for everybody and it comes with big and small people. Some stuff you just shouldn't wear. You need to dress appropriate for your body type, period. Rule, it is what it is. So I hate when people think that, oh, I'm plus size, I can do A, B, and C. Sometimes you just can't. And sometimes it applies to smaller girls as well, smaller people as well. Some stuff you just can't do. Like, just stop. Don't do it, you know? So, I'm not saying your confidence level should be low or you can't do A, B, and C. But some stuff you just really need to let go. That's all I'm saying. So, dress appropriately for your body type. All I'm saying. The squirrels and the birds is moving over here. And they're making me nervous. Making me think some type of big bug is going to come out. And it's like bees and... That's what I get for trying to film in nature. Moving on. Number seven. Give us a plus size tip. Example, deodorant increases, angling for the camera in a certain way to appear slimmer, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to give y'all a few tips, I think. Uh, let's see. I think the deodorant definitely works. Um, for those of you who legs rub together, I think if you put deodorant like in between your legs, like right where your legs rub up, I think they'll like swish past each other like really smoothly so they won't cause too much friction. Um, also try like some type of chafing gel if you are having those problems with your legs rubbing together It probably decreased it being really dark in between your thighs. So try that um, Let's see what else it's Plus size tip black obviously wear black it makes you slimmer I do know when posing on camera if you put your hands on your hips and kind of push in where your fat kind of is pudging out It does um, make you appear slimmer and kind of give you that hourglass figure. So that's definitely a tip um, also when you're posing like that with your hands on your hips if you cross your legs I think it also makes you appear slimmer. So this is more for camera purposes, but those are some tips um, I think a smile definitely goes a long way if you are a, a bigger and you always go around with a nasty look on your face Have a nasty attitude that adds on like so many extra pounds. You don't need Confidence attitudes everything. So think about that. Everybody think about that. So that's not just a plus ass and that's a tip in general have an nasty attitude that just adds pounds and ugh, just ugh, ugh. <laughs> so um i think that might be it anything else plus ass to just get healthy that's all i got to say to everybody it's, this is not a competition this is not about big versus fat everybody needs to be healthy live long lives and do you ain't nothing wrong with you know sometimes peeking out having a good time eating or you know not exercising one day but at the end of the day we need to be healthy we need to take better care of ourselves if we want to have longevity in life 
It's simple. So this is Corey Bella with the plus size tag. Tagging all you big girls, all you thick, sexy girls. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.